Okay, so this is a um, light that I'm using for my refugium. Um, it's for the system here. Down below, I'm growing Kato down below. And this is a 100 watt Cree LED light from Canagro. Um, it was $230 Canadian, and it's model number CXB3590X1. That's from Canagro. Uh, it has a, some brand name parts inside of it. It has a Cree LED. It has a meanwhile power supply, and it's a moisture sealed power supply meant for outdoor use because you can use these in grow closets which have high humidity. And my aquarium sump has high humidity, so I wanted to get something that can work within it. Um, it's incredibly bright. I'm not gonna turn it on yet because then you won't be able to see anything else in the video. But um, uh, at about 75%, so I have it set to almost 75% and it's about 8 inches down to the water and at the water surface it's about 1200 par and then the actual Kato itself it's about 600 par at the Kato that's with about I would say that's probably about 6 inches depth 600 par and about 8 inches off the surface and I'm going to turn it on now just give me a second uh, so it is incredibly, incredibly bright. It's a single LED. Um, it's a Cobb LED chip on board. Uh, it's a similar technology to what uh, Kessel uh, uses for their lights. I measured this with a, uh, a Senai and it said it was about 1300 Kelvin. So pretty warm uh, is what it claimed it was. And, about si and like I said, 600 par at the Cato and 1200 par at the surface at 75%. Um, I didn't want to go any higher because I don't know, I, th I think I could end up causing like um, over, like way too much light. But yeah, I'm gonna be running this thing uh, 12 hours at every day at the night at nighttime. And this should like for about 230 bucks Canadian, this is a par monster. You'd have to spend like a lot of money for some sort of name brand unit meant for aquariums. Um, one thing I had to do though was, see up here, this is uh, coated picture framing wire with um, kind of like marine, uh, this is done with like marine fishing knots basically, really strong knots, so I, the hanger that it came with is designed for a grow tent and it would have hung down to here, so then if the, if the power were, were to cut out it would end up submerged in water, so I had to build a hanger. Um, so I reused this part. This part came with the hanger and then this these things here came with the hanging unit and I just basically put three wires, coated uh, picture framing wires and then little rubber bumpers because it kind of doesn't quite sit perfectly. Um, but yeah, then I just run the wire up and over into the controller and uh, it is incredibly, incredibly bright. This is going to grow Kato quite well. It's going to suck up all my nitrates. And the reason why is because this guy is a picky eater, which needs a lot of water. Uh, this is Wally, and uh, I have to like dump tons of mysis shrimp in the tank to because he's picky and just kind of wants to eat whatever is close by. And if it's not close to him, he's not going to eat it, but he's afraid of any kind of target feeding right now. So with this high-powered light, I'm going to be able to dump lots of food in for him. Coral are going to like it too. Lots of nutrients um, while keeping the nitrates under control. Yeah, so I'm going to have to like work hard to keep up on um, uh, iron. And I'll just quickly mention what I use for iron. Um, so this is the product I use for iron for Kato. This is Red Sea Iron. It's really easy to dose. Um, comes with a little measuring cup and uh, has a chart on the back which makes it easy to figure out how much you need whenever every I dose this a couple times a week similar schedule to my planted aquarium and I dose it to what they say is zero so they claim you need 0 0.14 um, but that's like 100 that's like a thousand times higher than sea level and it gets sucked up by the plants really quick and so I dose the equivalent of half the recommended so I dose it to 0 0.07 ppm about two times a week um, so we'll see, uh, we'll see if, I, if, basically if I see like yellowing on the Kato, then that means I'm low on iron and I'm going to have to increase the iron. 
Um, or if I see if it's low nitrate period, like if I bring it down to zero nitrates with this thing, I have to, I'm going to have to turn on the lights. So that's it. Um, yeah, it was a great, very well priced unit. If you were to, and like I said, if you were to compare this to a Kessel, you'd be spending probably four, almost $500 Canadian for something with equivalent par. Uh, I don't know if it has to be purple, like it's, you're not growing marijuana. Uh, marijuana likes to have nice red lights at certain parts of its grow. But for algae, who cares? <laughs> you just wanted to suck up nitrate. Cool. Thanks.